Bitcoin is boiling the oceans. Bitcoin is setting back any hope for climate change. You've seen those doomsday headlines, with Tesla also recently backpedaling from accepting Bitcoin. Bitcoin is regularly held in the spotlight for its high energy consumption. This is because of the way the network runs, called proof of work, which requires high amounts of electricity. Miners run powerful computers around the clock to mine new Bitcoins, process transactions, and secure the network. Given the rapid growth of Bitcoin's network, resources have intensified, adding up to significant amounts of energy consumed, but does it really present a significant risk to the climate? Hello, and welcome back to the Exodus channel, your home for the best crypto videos. Hit those like and subscribe buttons and we will keep the videos coming. Okay, so how much energy does Bitcoin consume? According to the Cambridge Center for Alternative Finance, Bitcoin currently consumes an estimated 150 terawatt hours per year. This is actually roughly the equivalent to the annual energy consumption of small nations like Sweden and Malaysia. Bill Gates criticized Bitcoin for its carbon footprint, saying Bitcoin uses more electricity per transaction than any other method known to mankind. Now, according to DigiEconomist, just one Bitcoin transaction is the equivalent to the carbon footprint of 735,121 Visa transactions or 55,280 hours hours of watching YouTube. All these doomsday statistics are enough to convince climate warriors to switch off from Bitcoin for good. After all, there are carbon neutral proof of stake cryptocurrency alternatives that already exist. Bitcoin currently consumes about 0.55% of global electricity production. However, it's worth noting that in September 2020, the CCAF estimated that on average, 39% of Bitcoin mining uses renewable energy. Also, research and innovation are rapidly occurring with the use of methane gas, hydro and solar power as other alternative sources of mining energy. In this context, what we're really critiquing is Bitcoin's share of the current energy being produced. Is Bitcoin worth it? Well, why not ask instead, is the future of money worth it? Bitcoin is a borderless and global monetary network that has the potential to give billions of people all around the world a fighting chance at economic self-preservation. It's really a matter of opinion if the energy required to sustain an open and global monetary network is worth the costs. For Bitcoin proponents, the answer is a resounding yes. Financial sovereignty is definitely worth it, especially when you measure Bitcoin's energy consumption as a global, non-state-bound monetary network against the alternatives, the central and traditional banking system, and the gold industry. So let's take a look at gold. So in 2020, the gold industry was estimated to use 265 terawatt hours of energy, taking into account the energy used for actual mining and also refinement for jewelry. Now, this is much more than Bitcoin, which will soon replace gold. Gold mining is also labor incentive, exploitative and pollutative, yet is still not under the same heat as Bitcoin being the newer technology. Compared to the traditional banking industry, requiring bank branches, ATMs and the manufacture of banknotes and coins, mining Bitcoin remains many folds lower. And the US fiat dollar is not even so clean when it comes to the environmental front. So since 1975, the petrodollar system ties all oil exports to US dollars as the settlement currency. Comparisons aside, Bitcoin proponents are more optimistic about the future of Bitcoin's energy consumption. And here's why. Bitcoin mining is an extremely competitive activity where miners operate on thin margins and fight to source the cheapest electricity available. Bitcoin therefore creates a natural economic incentive to drive the development of green and cheap energy. In short, Bitcoin mining has the potential to go hand in hand with clean energy production. There's a link in the description to an independent research paper by Square and ARK Invest that gets into the details of how the Bitcoin network functions as a unique energy buyer that could enable society to deploy more solar and wind generation capacity and lead to an abundant clean energy future. I'll give you the gist of it here. The key point to know about Bitcoin energy consumption is that Bitcoin mining is geographically independent. This is very unique to Bitcoin. It means that because of its decentralized nature, miners can seek out the cheapest energy around the world. Solar and wind are the least expensive energy sources, but we are still overly reliant on fossil fuels. The challenge is efficiently storing and deploying clean energy. 
Bitcoin mining can complement clean energy generation and storage by incentivizing energy producers with higher returns. Solar and wind power construction can accelerate as Bitcoin miners, because of their geographical independence, can purchase energy before lengthy grid interconnectedness is fully established. This means clean energy producers don't have to wait as long to sell and less energy is wasted. There are many positive scenarios where Bitcoin uses energy that would otherwise be wasted. So one example is the use of flared natural gases, which is a byproduct of extracting oil to mine Bitcoin. Now, another example of this is the wet season in China's provinces of Sichuan and Yunnan, where Bitcoin miners take advantage of a glut of seasonal hydro energy that would otherwise go to waste. Bitcoin mining centers can be set up anywhere in the world. Therefore, it's well placed to harness existing energy inefficiencies and translate it into purchasing power for economies. Perhaps whether you're optimistic or pessimistic about Bitcoin's energy use boils down to your view on technology. Technology. technology advancements in green tech like supercomputers and cooling innovations are all working towards making energy use greener and sustainable for the future. Bitcoin could actually be the greatest economic incentive present to make this happen and we're going to be here to see it.